These boots belong to Joe Strummer, who was the lead singer of the band The Clash. And my husband was starting or thinking about starting a rock and roll magazine and a punk rock magazine. And he interviewed Joe when they were in their first US tour in 1979. And during the course of the interview, my husband complimented Joe on his boots and Joe took off his boots and gave them his boots. So we've had these boots for about 35 years. They've been in the corner of a closet. They haven't been worn in our, in our home. So this is your husband here, you said, interviewing Joe, and this was 1979? Yeah, uh, the, it was the first, the Clash's first U.S. tour, as I understand. So they played two shows in Boston, and this would have been one of the shows, either at the Orpheum Theater or in Harvard Square. He did this interview, was it published, or? When my husband did the interview, he subsequently used an excerpt from the interview as part of his editorial for the opening and launch of his magazine, which was called Take It Magazine, so. The magazine was called Take It? Take It Magazine, and Joe Strummer had said, if you really, really want something, just go ahead and take it. If you want to be relevant, you know, take it, make something happen. I'm paraphrasing, but that appeared in the magazine. That as, is so his yeah. spirit, because at the time, I mean, they really came out, they were founded in 1976 as the first wave of British punk. Right. And his attitude with everything that was going on politically in England, right. a lot of disenfranchised industrial workers, former coal miners, his attitude was, if you want something, you have to do it for yourself and take it. They were inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2003, a year after he died. He died at 50 years old of a congenital heart defect, so, yeah, and it's very, very shockingly, sad. nobody knew he was sick, so he was taken from us pretty young. One other thing I wanted to point out, we have on the bottom of the boots, which is nearly impossible to see, it's kind of a blind stamp in the leather, that says, warranted British manufacturer. So we know these are of the right materials, everything makes sense. We have the photograph of your husband interviewing him, which right. is really helpful because it establishes that he really did meet him. So at auction, with that information, I think we would expect anywhere between five and $7,000 for a pair of boots like this. That's pretty amazing. There are a lot of pictures of Joe Strummer out there wearing very similar style boots. Now, if we can find pictures from any of those shows in 1979 or any time around then, right. and find this exact pair of boots in a picture, that would be amazing. And it's quite possible to do, because I'm sure he was well photographed during that tour. I know that we have a lot of negatives from that show that I haven't developed yet. This picture was developed to bring to the road show, so I will go home and go through those negatives. If you do find a picture in your rolls of undeveloped film from this event, uh, that you can clearly see these boots and we can make out the stitch lines and there's all sorts of things we look for that we can match up pretty precisely and hopefully we would be able to do that. At auction, you could be looking at more like eight to $12,000. Right. 